Headlines in Portugal's media on Wednesday reflected the shock triggered by the resignation of the Prime Minister, Antonio Costa. Costa has stepped down amid an investigation into alleged irregularities committed by his majority socialist administration in handling lithium mining and hydrogen projects in the country. For them, there are no problems. They are not the ones who pay the bill. Who will pay the bill is the contributor. For them, it's all right. So, agora os outros partidos não vão querer que seja outra pessoa do, do PS a ser primeiro-ministro, que é para ir eleições, andarmos aqui mais numa palhaçada e pronto, e sermos nós depois a seguir os contribuintes a pagar a fatura. Announcing the decision in a televised statement after meeting the president, Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa, Costa said that his conscience was clear, but he would not stand as candidate for premiership again. This is what he said candidatar ao cargo de Primeiro-Ministro, isso fica muito claro, é evidente que esta é uma etapa da vida que se encerrou. Further denying involvement in the scandal, Costa said he was fully available to cooperate with the justice system, tearing up while thanking his family for their support through the years. Por fim, uma palavra muito sentida de agradecimento à minha família, Muito em especial à minha mulher, por todo o apoio, todo o carinho e os muitos sacrifícios pessoais que passou ao longo destes oito anos. Esta é uma etapa da vida que se encerra e que encerro com a cabeça erguida, a consciência tranquila e a mesma determinação de servir Portugal e os portugueses exatamente da mesma forma como no dia em que aqui entrei pela primeira vez como Primeiro-Ministro. The news naturally has left people shocked. Bem, acho que na verdade ninguém estava à espera do que aconteceu, mas na realidade penso que António Costa até reagiu bem em ter se demitido e que agora veremos quem é que vai para o seu lugar e como é que corre. The instability that the move brings with it is the immediate concern. People say the resignation will just make the current situation worse. Toda a situação financeira e económica que se vive em Portugal, todas as dificuldades que as pessoas sentem no seu dia a dia, e agora vê-se um governo cair, e isso creio que vai acrescentar muita insegurança às pessoas. Se bem que o governo em si não nos garantisse e não nos desse segurança, porque nós todos os dias lidamos com muitas situações diferentes e desagradáveis, porque infelizmente há muita gente a passar muito mal neste país, e agora de repente o governo cai, eu penso que vai agravar toda a situação e toda a insegurança que as pessoas sentem. The political crisis unfolded in the country after prosecutors published a statement detailing searches in more than 40 different premises as part of the inquiry. The Department of Criminal Investigation and Action confirming that the addresses searched included spaces used by the head of the Prime Minister's office, the two ministries and the Sines Town Council. Citing flight risk and the possibility that illegal activities could continue, prosecutors then issued arrest warrants for Costa's chief of staff, the mayor of Sines, and two executives at uh, Start Campus, and added that Portugal's infrastructure minister had also been indicted as part of the investigation. But let's just take you back to where it all started. In May 2022, the Portuguese Agency for the Protection of the Environment approved a mining project for lithium. And with the success of the first, a second project was given the green light at the start of September last year. But in December 2022, Portugal's infrastructure and housing minister was forced to quit amid the outcry over a 500,000 euro compensation payment made to a board member of the state-owned flag carrier TAP Air Portugal. And after that, a total of 10 senior government officials left their jobs since Costa's party won the 2022 ballot. And while Portugal's lithium mines and green hydrogen projects are part of the continent's green initiative being pushed and heavily funded by the European Union, Costa has been a major backer of the projects and an ally of Spain's acting Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez. But now after Costa's sudden resignation, 
it will be interesting to see how some of these projects and long-term government plans involving the EU funds will pan out. On the other hand, while the European Union is keen to reduce its dependence on mines in China, Africa and South America for lithium, Costa's resignation has left Portugal in a precipice, calling for the immediate cancellation of all lithium projects. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.